so in this particular sessions we these are the points we discuss assemblies private assemblies shared assembly and the reflections so before coming to the assembly we should know dll and their drawbacks then we are see the definition of the assemblies and we see the complete preparations of or creating of assembly we see the complete uh, steps how to create assemblies at the end we discuss difference between assemblies and namespaces so dll so it is as here i am mentioning three three points uh, it is divided into the sev several modules like you take one example a banking applications can be divided into several modules and each modules can be installed at runtime we know that in every applications there is a entry point is there that is main method and that is sub sub something and at the end the file is uh, converted into the native code that is exe file we run the exe file but if exe file if you run the exe file the program will be started so suppose the we are not dividing the application in the form of module we are writing the complete banking application like uh, in banking application the deposit logic withdraw logic calculation of loan logic and other logics there may be thousands of logics will be there but they all are part of a one modules so there may be a lot of drawbacks will be there the loading time of the program will be more and program also use a huge amount of resources so to avoid that situations uh, dll help us what divide the application into the different module deposit module is there withdraw module is there your calculate loan module is be there and all the module will not be loaded only the entry point the starting exe file will be loaded into the applications and when there is a need of the deposit naturally user click on something like load options or your deposit options so when user click on deposit options at the run time the corresponding deposit module will be called or installed so benefit load time of the program will be faster and the particular module will be loaded when the functionality of the module is arised so the an another benefit is it is easy to deploy and installs naturally uh, just you uh, once you create a software then software package will be created set up just you click on next 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 and the dll entry will be created automatically but the most important points here is the disadvantage the versioning problems and the deployments installation problems generally we heard the word like a dll hell it is the problems mostly followed by the users during the time of running of applications the issues is what suppose a multiple applications attempt to share a common dll and application suppose install a new versions of share component that is not compatible with the earlier versions which is present in the machines okay the new component will work fine but the existing applications that depends upon the older versions of the share component might not work so that is the dll problems just you i am just emphasizing again in another way previously suppose a b c three applications are using a one common dll that is aptek.dll file a b c are using one shared dll that the name is aptek.dll now we are creating a new aptek.dll file and that is dependent by a de a new applications so once you loading a new aptek.dll the existing dll will be overrided so de will will get the benefit of 
aptech dot dll but abc will get blocked because they are dependent on earlier versions of aptech dot dll file so that is the problem of version eight and then next issue is deployment and installations during the installation of the applications a number of software components are copied into the disk and also makes a series of register entries that describe this component to the systems to so the separation between the entries on the registry and the file systems of the disk make it very difficult for the systems to install the complete information for registry as well as from the file disk so as these are the advantages we need this a solutions and this solution is prescribed by microsoft.net framework so the rules for the .net framework is what and this uh, dll hell problem is solved by microsoft.net framework in the form of assemblies what's the rule these are the rules which ever is here mention here like application must be self describing it should not be dependent it should not be stored in a registry hence it is easily deployed and installed versioning information must be recorded means the if you are installing a new version of the dll the old version of dll will not be deleted as a result what happen the older applications can use older version and new applications can use new versions during application run it try to as it mention here it tries to records the related say about component and their versions also and framework allow a multiple versions of the component coexistence exactly suppose aptech.dll version 1.00 and aptech.dll version 2.00 and aptech.dll version 3.00 all these versions can be available and applications must be isolated so if any changes in the systems then application will not be reflected so what is exactly assemblies it's a building block used in dotnet framework basically used for solving the versioning and deployment issues and it's a informations which is required at the run times to execute an applications it's a main it's a, you may say it is a unit it's a unit of reusing fundamental or versioning and security deployment issues fundamentals we can better clear in the next example also and the type of assemblies the assemblies can be a private or shared so as the name suggest private assembly when ap application is created this application this assembly can be used by single application and if shared assembly it can be available in a central place and that assembly can be used by a multiple applications and there is some properties attached to the assembly like assembly can be a exe file can be a dll file and share if the assembly is shared by different application then we have to put in a global assembly cache that is gsc and if you want to make the assembly should be placed in a global assembly cache it must be strong named and it should be loaded when it is required information about the assembly can be re retrieved by using the fundamental of reflections as uh, we already discussed the multiple versions of the assembly can be used by a single application and if the assembly contains a one more modules all the modules can be taken together to form a single assembly and what's the structure of the assemblies assembly has three different structure it has four parts like assembly metadata type metadata msil code and your resources assembly uh, metadata simply we say is a collection of informations available in a binary format in a portable executable file like uh, your assembly metadata informations like its version informations you may say and type metadata is a data present in assembly and its type the metadata contains a declaration of every types and members like your methods maybe me uh, fields properties even etc 